Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast. Now, as you listen to this, I'm probably all the way over in Chicago attending the No Longer Virtual Conference, which I'm quite excited about. I'm not wearing a face mask, but I will have a nice little pocket-sized tub of antibacterial hand gel ready to unleash at any moment. (laughs) So hopefully things will go fine there. But today I wanted to talk about how businesses globally are reporting investments in digital reinvention are totaling more than $100 billion. And that was just between 2016 and 2018. So it's probably even more now. And yet most of those efforts and investments reported poor returns on their digital investments. So I find myself asking, what is the fallout? And the answer that I seem to be getting from my research online was a disconnect between concept and execution. So as IT directors and CIOs face mounting pressures to transform operations as we near the brink of a digital revolution, why is it that when it comes to rollout, things break down, especially when employees are faced with that dreaded poor user experience or they just lack the insights to successfully execute change? Now, of course, one of the most impactful first steps to evaluate digital success is the tools that your employees use every day in their role. And integration across productivity tools are now playing a massive role in solving that problem. But again, it's a very complex issue because we've now reached critical point in enterprise app overload. Wherever you're working, I suspect your employer has hundreds of applications. So maybe multi-solution integration across technology providers is the only way forward. So for those reasons alone, I invited Doodle CEO Renato Profico onto the podcast today to talk about how productivity tools like Doodle are streamlining the workplace operations and actually enabling effective digital transformation results. So buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to Zurich in the beautiful Switzerland so we can speak with Renato now. So a massive warm welcome to the show, Renato. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Yes, hi. Thank you very much, Neil. Um, Renato Profico, that's my name. I'm uh, Italian, uh, as you may uh, hear from my accent, born and raised in Switzerland. And um, in terms of my professional background, I worked for the last 20 years within um, the digital space broadly. And and for over 30 years in, in management positions. And I'm just mentioning this because, you know, I can source from my own experience, uh, bad or good when it comes to productivity tools like uh, like Doodle provides. And uh, maybe one more thing, I'm, I'm really passionate about product and tools that, you know, that can really impact the business, the business world. And before uh, joining Doodle, I worked for, um, for many years in the uh, digital sourcing and recruiting industry. And since last year at Doodle now, um, helping corporates to bring more efficiency in the scheduling and meeting area. Fantastic. And I'm excited to get you on the podcast today because I've been reading recently that businesses globally report investments in digital reinvention totaling more than $100 billion between 2016 and 2018 alone. And yet, most had poor returns on their investments. I find myself asking, what is the fallout? But can you tell me more about that disconnect between concept and execution? Yeah, I think sometimes there is a, a lack of uh, a lack of communication. Uh, is, is basically often technologies are incorporated in in a one-off fashion uh, to fix siloed operations or task. Uh, you know, but 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 then the result is uh, employees get bombarded by too many tools, feel overwhelmed, and ultimately end up being being less productive. Because today we we uh, we uh, we encounter a, a up exhaustion, uh, as I would call it. You know, so many so many tools and. Um, Plus, the difficulty as well is that if I have so many apps and tools to 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 play with, I need to have a seamless, uh, uh, you know, going going through through this through this uh, through these tools because most of the time as well, one tool just solves one problem. And if I need to have um, multiple tools and apps, um, I would want as a user as well to have a to have a seamless uh, a seamless um, transition from one tool to the other. 
and uh, for example, for digital natives, uh, for the digital initiatives to be successful, you know, businesses uh, really need to look at uh, at how this or that new tool is going to impact the operations and, and digital ecosystem already in place. So, and em- employees really need to be trained and prepared for these uh, new changes. That's a very uh, that's a very important uh, important thing. And I think communication, you know, in, in terms of what is going to uh, come up with, uh, what kind of changes are going to come up and uh, what kind of digital tools are we implementing, what are they good for, et cetera. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's everything. So preparing actually within the concept, but then as, uh, as, it, as it's executed, you know, and, and, and implemented within the companies, then it needs a lot of, uh, a lot of work also. And if I go back to my IT, my IT days, I still remember that when a big project went live and we had the big rollout, and there was a lot of support everywhere. There were floor walkers just to make sure everything was smoothed over. But once that project was signed off, that's when things began to break down and employees were left with this poor user experience or lacked the insights needed to avoid and execute change successfully. But how do you think all that can be avoided? I think there needs to be um, significant transparency within the change management, you know, continuing, continuing to, um, at the beginning, explaining to the people what is going to happen. Then, uh, then of course, uh, being there when, 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 uh, when things are introduced. And, and the, for example, the rollout for, for, of tools should be a result of listening to employee concerns and needs. And, and deployment should happen then as a direct result of that feedback and should be always accompanied uh, by, by, uh, by communication. And um, ultimately, ultimately, technology needs to work for your employees and not, not the other uh, way around. You know, uh, throwing tools at workers without a deep understanding on how it will better serve them, you know, or integrate into the systems. Um, already in place uh, will only cause uh, frustration and, and, and failure, basically. And of course, Doodle is a Swiss online calendar tool for time management and coordinating meetings. And we've talked about it a little, but I'm conscious there might be a lot of people listening that have never heard of it before. So can you tell me a little bit more about it and the, its actual role in solving some of the problems we've just talked about? So Doodle, Doodle is a global company with offices in Zurich, Berlin, Belgrade, Atlanta and, and New York. We have about 30 million user uh, monthly and uh, Doodle started out as a product to simplify one task and, and has become a suite of enterprise tools, you know, committed to resolving and really streamlining the scheduling process. Uh, we as a company, we, we, we live remote working, you know, our, our teams are, uh, are spread uh, over the offices and in, in, in countries. So communication, for example, is crucial and organizing it has, has to be efficient fast and, and, and seamless and we have set uh, ourselves the mission to make great meetings happen and and doodle defines great meeting as you know the right people the right time slot the right context and setups and uh, and this this includes of course the, the the entire meeting life cycle you know from the moment i start scheduling uh, a meeting you know be it one to many or internal and external guests through then uh, a meeting experience itself, like room booking, video conferencing, conferencing tools, note taking, and and finally uh, what I call the the post processing of the meeting, you know, to do lists, project management, and then ultimately uh, starting starting again with uh, with the next uh, meeting. And some of these steps within the life cycle are core to Doodle, like like the scheduling part. Um, but already with this piece, we cooperate with partners like. Slack and have our Doodlebot integrated, you know, to ensure really a seamless experience to to the customer right from the beginning of the of this meeting uh, life cycle. You know, for example, and as a very frequent meeting organizer and participant, seamless is is for me the magic word uh, and and what I expect. Just the fact that I can connect my calendar to Doodle makes it so easy when I when I need to coordinate meetings with internal and external people using different uh, calendar system or starting out you know when I use uh, when I use slack and and uh, and just using my doodle bots to to schedule meetings so and we we understand the headache and the frustration associated with adding another tool for employee to use so which is why all of uh, our services integrate seamlessly uh, seamlessly with uh, with any calendar email or, or messaging suit and um, and uh, all your, your your scheduling is done in one place and updates automatically so we try really there to to uh, 
make everything much more easier. And you did touch upon a problem a few moments ago around app overload. So why is it you believe that integration across all those enterprise tools can actually prevent app overload? Yeah, I think indeed the most annoying task in, in, in a work process like, like setting up a meeting uh, is when I have to juggle from one app to the other, for example. And as I said uh, previously, we do have today an app exhaustion, many single apps to solve one piece of the work process. And that, that hinders productivity in corporate. Um, in, in my perception, there are two different ways on how integration can help companies gain efficiency you know, and relieve <laughs> the app exhaustion pain, if I, if I can uh, name that like, that, like this. Uh, one is the, the, the widely spread uh, single sign-on which I personally find great and prevents me, you know, to have hundreds of passwords to log into the different apps. So that's, that's, the, that's the easier part. The other way is to have a direct integration of apps and tools in other tools, you know, and providing, providing really a seamless work process. And we at Doodle offer both, of course, but are mainly focused in providing a seamless scheduling and meeting experience. So uh, the integration, again, uh, we have, uh, as I mentioned before, with Slack is a good example. So the chat tool being intensively used for communication in corporates gives, gives the user the possibility to start a scheduling process with our Doodle bot right, uh, right in there without having to specifically change uh, to the scheduling app. Um, and our Doodle, Doodle bot supports that. And, and the gain of efficiency by just having this is immense. Um, actually, Doodle, Doodle uh, recently uh, did some calculations of the costs caused by meetings, you know, including, for example, the, the scheduling workflow and how it can be uh, improved by streamlining the scheduling workflow with our productivity tool. Also relying of, uh, re we relied also on what customer told us. And the savings are really enormous. The white paper, by the way, is available on our Doodle website for further information. And it's, uh, yeah. And as someone that manages a global tech firm, a question I've got to ask is, how important do you think the role of collaboration technology is to businesses now in this digital age? Oh, very important. I think it's very, very important, especially in, in you know, a, a changing work environment where teams work across different countries and teams uh, and, and, and the raising importance of, of the remote working. So collaborating technolo collaboration technologies uh, can have a huge impact on, on the business. I would not want to imagine ourselves at Doodle, for example, not having all our coll collaboration tools. We wouldn't be able to operate in the setup we have uh, today. And uh, there are some really efficient and extremely user-friendly tools out there. Um, if I take the sad but real example of the corona crisis we're having right now, um, companies not having to rely on employees, you know, being physically in the office can immediately tell their teams to work from home. Uh, you know, organizing themselves for the meetings with tools like Doodle and holding the meetings or over video conferencing tools like Zoom or Google Hangouts. And that limits at least some of the negative business impact uh, uh, the, uh, the, the corona crisis uh, has on the economy uh, right now and does not block all uh, work processes. So, um, yeah, collaboration technology, very, very crucial and critical when, when managing a global firm. And something else I'm seeing more and more of, your traditional workplace, you see a lot of people clinging to the old ways of working and putting up with those little software problems, quirks and frustrations. But I'm seeing more and more younger people, Gen Z especially, coming into the workplace and starting to question that, say, why are you doing things this way when it's so much easier approaching it from a different angle? So as digital natives begin to take over the workforce, what do you think the future of work will look like? Oh, yeah, that's a very interesting question. And, uh, you know, I observe uh, ourselves, uh, you know, the large majority of the Doodle employees are digital natives. And, and they, of course, bring, bring in their, their perception of work. You know, homework for them is very important. And being able to work remotely is very important to them also. And, and one of the things as well is uh, mobile. The mobile experience is, uh, is critical as well, as well for, for the work tools. I think digital natives uh, work a lot with, uh, with mobile also. Uh, they are mobile first, so uh, ensuring that the enterprise tools are easy, easy to deploy, uh, you know, navigates and works from a smartphone will, will also be essential for, for the future of work. But all of the above mentioned uh, or the before mentioned things, you know, that, that the, the, a, seamless, a seamless experience 
uh, is, is very important to the digital natives. And as I observe uh, ourselves as well, you know, with having so many digital natives in, <laughs> natives in our companies, tools are essential for them. And, and uh, when I, when I first started at Doodle, uh, that was one of the things you know that impressed me with how many how many tools were working, which is which is which is efficient because the tools are today most of them are really you can use them in a seamless way and they're integrated to each other and and that's and that's the that's the way digital natives uh, work. So and especially when it comes to collaboration. And in a company like ours and in many, many digital companies as well, you know, collaboration is, is, is very important, especially in a product and tech company like we are. And, uh, and therefore, you need, you need to have uh, very efficient collaboration tools also. As we near that brink of the digital revolution and these digital natives have different expectations, different ways of working, what advice do you have to IT directors and CIOs listening that are facing these mountain pressures to transform their operations? Because it's quite a challenge, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, you know, the, the, the only advice I would I would give to IT directors and CIOs is is really listen to your employees and find solutions that will integrate as seamlessly into their work for, workflow as uh, as possible. And um, you know, always understand the full impact of, of a decision to the to the business operations beyond the silo task uh, a tool is meant uh, to assist with. And as for yourself, for here in twenty twenty and beyond, what's your primary focus at Doodle at the moment? We really want to eliminate, you know, that that headache or that pain of scheduling uh, uh, and enable people uh, to use that time for more meaning, meaningful work. That's really, uh, you know, we have in our uh, in our mission uh, make great meetings happen, and and our vision is is to own uh, our time or to make our customer own their time. So. Um, the 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 impact that uh, this tool has has had with some of our customers is incredible. So for people in sales recruiting position, the majority of their day ends up you know being managing uh, the back and forth of coordinating scheduling, scheduling, and um, we've seen our solutions directly impact business goals and as a result of removing. Uh, this task, and that's that's our main focus, really, to uh, to really uh, make make businesses more productive through uh, our uh, Doodle scheduling tools. Fantastic! And for anyone listening, I'd just like to find out a little bit more information about Doodle. Maybe check a video of how it works, or even contact your team. What's the best way of doing that? Well, the best way I think is to go on Doodle.com and follow um, us on Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, you know, you'll you'll be able to uh, speak with one or one of our scheduling experts, or uh, on our website or on social if you have uh, any questions. So just go on to doodle.com or LinkedIn or Twitter. Well, at the end of every podcast, I always say that technology works best when it brings people together. And very often, I hear a lot about the latest tech solution that then goes out looking for a problem. But what I love about what you're doing here is you're actually leveraging technology to create products and create tools that actually impact business outcomes it's so refreshing to hear so thanks so much for joining me on the podcast today Renata thank you very much Neil there were so many big talking points in that conversation for me such as the integration across enterprise tools to prevent that app overload and exhaustion not to mention all the frustrations that come with it and I also thank Renato for coming on and sharing some of his insights and experiences around managing a global tech firm and the role that collaboration technology plays in that. Not to mention, of course, the future of work as digital natives are now taking over the workforce and are thinking, why is it you guys are still working like it's 2005? You know, MySpace isn't here anymore. Why are you just putting up with all these frustrations and software quirks? There are quicker, more efficient, better ways of doing things. So for those reasons, I will be checking out Doodle, the online calendar tool for time management and coordinating all these podcast interviews to see if it can help me at all. And I will report back. But over to you. Were there any big takeaways uh, from today's episode? Was there anything that really resonated with you? And maybe you thought, actually, we've got a different way of doing things. Or, yes, I understand that problem, but we've got an even bigger challenge. Whatever it is, I'd love to hear from you. Because I think the only way we can solve all these problems that we're talking about is by discussing them all. And that is why I created this podcast platform and why I record a podcast every day. So you've got something to listen to, even when I'm 35,000 feet in the air washing my hands furiously with antibacterial gel. So please let me know your thoughts. Email techblogwriter at outlook.com, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn at Neil C. Hughes. And my website is techblogwriter.co.uk. 
So I'll look forward to your responses. When I touch down, I'll make sure I upload another podcast for tomorrow. So a big thank you for listening. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.